right now we are fine. We've got showers and storms offshore, nice little cluster. Nothing on the ground now, but by this afternoon, there's a good chance of some scattered showers and storms in the mix at the coverage of about 40%. We're going to really ramp that up, though, tomorrow afternoon, Thursday, and Friday with some stronger storms, a possibility. But today and this morning, especially calm, we're in the mid to upper 70s. It's really muggy out there, sticky in Boca at 81 degrees. The combination of the heat and the humidity, yes, zipping on up that heat index value to about 100 at a minimum, 103, not out of the question in spots, especially inland, with those pop up storms chancing at about, say, 1 to 3 o'clock, about 40 percent. We'll see some activity here at 4 30 between Vero Beach and West Boynton and West Boca, continuing throughout the course of the afternoon into the early evening. So take the umbrella just in case. And now for the banner headline. Of the morning, tropical storm Erica birthed yesterday in the central Atlantic behind Danny, but is already moving so much faster than Danny. Not organized yet. I can tell you that hurricane hunters are expected to fly into Erica later today, and then we'll have a better read on what the storm's expected to do. At this point, National Hurricane Center puts Erica as a Category 1 hurricane right over the Turks and Caicos, heading through the southern Bahamas as early as Sunday morning with 80-mile-an-hour winds. That cone of uncertainty, though, is vast, and it encompasses the northern Bahamas and most likely could put West Palm Beach in that uncertain potential later on today as well. Anywhere from, say, the Florida Keys to Miami could be at risk from Erica. It's too early to call. The models are hinting, though, at kind of a, a very close call with Erica. In the meantime, there's another tropical invest off the shores of Africa with a 10% chance of developing. Likely, this is a non-player for us. Headlines for South Florida. The real deal for the next couple of days is going to be these rounds of afternoon showers and storms and very unstable heading into tomorrow with a deep west flow. So that means some stronger storms. And then, of course, the tropics with Erica looming. Here's South Florida's most accurate seven-day forecast, giving us that good rain potential. We need it still through the first half of the weekend. And then the big question mark with the tropics Sunday into Monday.